Oh, guys, this is just so sad. I'm outside here from the uh, California Medical Center where we're told that the rapper was taken after being shot multiple times. He was shot in the Hyde Park neighborhood south of Crenshaw area just outside of his clothing store called Marathon, which he had opened in 2017. His friends and family have been coming and going outside here of the uh, medical center visibly upset. I interviewed him at the Grammys in February and I can tell you that he was one of the nicest and most polite people. He was up for best rap album. Now Nipsey Hussle was very well known in the music industry. He was a father of two and just 33 years old. We will of course continue to follow this breaking news story and bring you the very latest as it becomes available. For now, we are live in downtown Los Angeles. I'm Brittany Hopper. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Brittany, thank you. We want to continue this coverage. Let's go to Desmond Shaw. He's live in Sky 2. Desmond. Well, Chris, I can tell you, it looks like the crowd that is gathering uh, near the scene where Nipsey Hussle was shot dead uh, has continued to grow here. This is along the 3400 block of Slauson Avenue, uh, right between Crenshaw and Brinehurst, and that's where the avenue is uh, shut down here, one of the major thoroughfares through the Hyde Park area. So you see crowds on one side there, and then also at this gas station. And it, it, again, it seems that uh, you know more people are trying to get to this scene right now. And it's really having a big impact on traffic as I zoom out here and show you Slauson Avenue, just completely gridlocked. That's headed eastbound here. So if you're trying to get through the area, you're definitely going to need an alternate route. And, you know, any time that someone is, is killed in a shooting like this, these kind of, kinds of investigations uh, tend to last a very long time. You see LAPD here on the scene. They're not going to be leaving anytime soon. Live in Sky 2 overhead, I'm Desmond Shaw. Send it back to you now in the studio. All right, Desmond, thank you for that bird's eye view of all of this. Stay with CBS2 and CBSLA.com for continuing coverage. Of course, we're waiting for the LAPD to start a news conference, and we will bring that live to you when it begins.